Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tasta Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you how to make a toilet paper roll cake, a toilet paper tube out of gum paste, and a poo cupcake. Now before we begin, if you guys just want to see how to make the toilet paper tube, go to 5 minutes and 45 seconds of this video. That's where it starts and after that is the poo cupcake. But for now, we're going to start with the toilet paper roll cake. All right, you see me stacking up my tiers here. I'm using six inch cake. I made three of them. And I'm using the circle cutter in the center of the last one just to make a little hole in the top for where the tube would show. So I'm going to ice the whole thing. As you can see, I have icing between my layers. This is just regular old buttercream icing. Nothing fancy going on here. I'm icing in the little divot, little pocket I made there going around the sides and when you're all done with it you're going to stick it in the fridge and let it set. I'm not worried about it being like super nice and clean and pretty because I'm going to cover it all with fondant anyway but you do want to get it pretty smooth so you know put a little effort into it. Don't have to go crazy but okay here you go. Here's my cake. It's been in the fridge. It's all cold. I'm using my little sewing measuring tape there in order to know how big of a piece of fondant I'm going to have to roll out. I'm going to roll out one piece that's going to wrap around the whole entire cake like one big long rectangle. So it's got to be the right height and it's got to be long enough. So I'm using my big old rolling pin. I'm using my guides on it because this is <laughs> way too big for my little one I normally use with my little paint stirring dowels. So yeah, okay. I got it rolled out. I got it measured. I'm cutting it with uh, my <laughs> icing smoothing tool there because I just kind of use whatever I have laying around. I'm measuring it out. I want to say my cake was like five inches tall, something like that, maybe a little bit more. I don't remember exactly. But either way, you know, put little marks in it and then line up your lines just like always. Give yourself a little bit extra, like maybe an eighth of an inch or even a quarter of an inch more because you never know. You, the way it's going to stretch and move, you just never know. Now, once you get all that rolled out nice and flat and cut properly, I'm using this um, fondant print that I got. Jeez, I don't even know where I got it. I think someone gave it to me because once you start making cakes, you'll probably find people give you stuff like that at Christmas because they don't know what to give you otherwise or your birthday. So I was given this little printmaking thing. So I printed up my fondant. I rolled it up onto my little, I'm using my little rolling pin now, and I used that to just kind of hold it so I can wrap it around. And let me tell you, I ended up making a bunch of these cakes because they're pretty popular right now, wonder why. So I have done it a couple different ways and rolling it up onto that little mini rolling pin is such a help. It makes such a difference. So I seriously strongly recommend it. I'm using a piece of paper towel you there, saw there. I just tucked it in the end so it kind of holds the ripple. And I'm going to stick it back in the fridge, which will make the fondant, you know, solidify and it'll hold its shape. I used a bowl that I had there and on some more fondant in order to make the top piece, make a nice round circle. I guess if you have like a legit compass from your geometry days or your school days, then you could use that. But I found that this bowl was almost the perfect size. It was like just shy of six inches in diameter. So it was perfect for what I needed. So trim it out. Put it on top and you'll find that if you're just a little bit shy in certain spots because it never just picks up perfectly when I do it, then you can just stretch it. It's It works great, so no worries on that one. I put some water around the edge of the little lip that was sticking up. Remember I said to give yourself a little bit extra gum uh, fondant for the sides and it kind of comes together now with that top piece that I put in. And like I said, I used some water to seal it so they kind of merge together on the sides a little nicer. I'm doing something stupid here. I'm using scissors to kind of hack away at the hole in the center to try to expose it. I really should have used the same circle cutter and pressed down into the center and just kind of twisted gently, which is what I did in my future cakes. Works a whole lot better than this nonsense I'm doing here. But throughout my hacking and my snipping and my, you know, learning, <laughs> it did work. I got the hole exposed. There you go. And just kind of smoothed down the edges. Now I'm rolling out some brown. I want to say this was fondant. Maybe it was gum paste. I don't remember. No, I think it was gum paste. I think it was gum paste because I already had the colored mix, so I didn't have to mix any brown fondant. So I'm like, you know, I'd rather take the easy way out here. 
just make it so it lines the inside like so. It has to come up to the surface, to the edge at the top, so it kind of, you know, matches up with the white of the toilet paper and it looks like the tube is showing in the center. So as far as what size circle to put in the middle, whatever you think looks best. You know, you don't want it too big, but not too small either. Now this is a little bit of black that I also had pre-colored, so I know this is gum paste. I made a plug out of it, the same size as the hole. I'm using my small rolling pin, just shove it down the center, and that way it covers up the bottom of your hole. So if anyone looks in, it just looks dark. You see? Nice, right? Okay, last detail here for the cake. I'm taking my knife and just making some lines. I am making lines, 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 lots of lines. Go from your outer edge and just start going in lots of little circles to make it look like toilet paper, okay? Stick it in the fridge. Okay, here's what I was talking about before. This is going to be my empty tube of toilet paper, just the toilet paper tube. This is brown gum paste, not fondant. I rolled it out, you know, using my little paint stirrers there and I trimmed it. I got an actual old tube of toilet paper I measured the size of it so I know that this is the right size. And I used that wad of paper towels there. I shoved it inside the actual tube of toilet paper so I know it's the same thickness. So that's how I was able to measure the size. Wrap it around your uh, paper towels there. And you see I'm putting line imprints with my knife because if you look at the cardboard, you can see it's kind of spiraled like those, like those Pillsbury tubes, you know, that you pull and you tap on the side and they pop and it scares you. Like that. Am I, is it just me? So anyway, put that aside now. Okay, you gotta leave the, those uh, paper towels in there until it hardens completely. All right, so I'm using the same print, some more white gum paste this time, not fondant, but the same print as the cake that I just made. And I just took a little piece, you know, as you can see, I'm just trimming it down until it's the right size. And I'm taking the raggedy end there, uh, cause you know, when you get to that last piece, it's all rough and ragged. So I'm chopping it up, ripping it up, making it rough and, and tumbly on the end there. I flattened it off a little bit just at the edge because that's where, you know, it's kind of glued on and it doesn't come off. It's pretty pressed in there. If it hangs over, trim it off. No problems there. Easy peasy. A little bit of water. We'll stick that right to your tube. And then this is kind of last touch here. I'm just taking a couple little pieces that I still have of the print. Roughing them up as you see. Just kind of scruffing them up. Make them look like little tassel scraps. And then sticking a couple of them onto the back because you know how the toilet paper when it's glued onto the tube, it, it it's glued in a couple places and when you rip it off you get almost all of it but the part that's like super glued on doesn't come off. That's what I was trying to do here with this. So I just put a couple little scraps on it just to make it a little more interesting. And yeah, that's it. Let it dry. Once you let it sit and harden up, I send a picture of it to people like oh how did I do I never tried doing this and they thought I they're like why are you sending me a picture of a toilet paper tube so if it looks real then you did a good job if you can fool your friends and family all right so put that aside now let it harden the cupcake is easy you take your dark chocolate icing I put a little black in it swirl it up like that okay you just make a big fat coil a round open tip and then put another coil on top of it and just keep on coiling up until it you know, you get the height you like. Stick it in the fridge and that'll set it, okay? Now to make the eyes, I just took two balls of white gum paste here, rolled them kind of so they'd smooth out into more ovals. I'm making them a little bit longer because they, you know, the eyes on the poo emoji are pretty long and ovally. Same thing with the black pupil inside. It's got to match up to the eyes nicely. So I took a piece of black gum paste, made it get look like a mouse poo, like literally a mouse poo, flatten it out so you have a flattened mouse poo and then stick it on the white right in the center everything is nice and centered nice and long there you go there's eyes not hard at all right for the mouth make a circle that's going to be you know not too big not too big and then just take a nip off the bottom of it so that the two edges of the smile meet the edges of the eyes because they don't go past the eyes so be careful of that now take your icing, your cupcake out of the fridge. So how nice and firm it is. I can handle it like crazy. Using a little bit of water, just stick in those eyes right on top of the icing. See how that is? It's not too high, not too low. And then the mouth goes right below it. And there you go. So if it's a little crooked like that, tap down, make it nice and flat. Put all the pieces together and you have a pretty fun cake, I gotta say. Now, this is one of the good things that's been coming out of this coronavirus is these cakes are fun to make. I enjoy these. So, 
Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe. That would really help me out. Check out my other videos. There's a bunch out there. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.